Hey guys, Jordan here with Coldlytics, and today I'm going to show you how to find the best utility leads using Coldlytics. So let's jump in. So starting with our targeted, we're going to select small businesses, and we are going to go to Green Bay, Wisconsin today. So Green Bay, oh, I think it might be two words. My bad. Green Bay with with Wisconsin. Um, we are going to just lower the radius to 15 to more cycle or more lock in on our targeted area. I'm going to add that and I'm going to hit next to lock it in. We are looking for utilities today. So I'm going to add that. Uh, we have water, public service, you know. Um, so we're going to add that. And uh, I actually, I personally am from Canada where all of our utility companies are pretty like public. Um, um, so we have our utilities. We are going to hit next to lock it in. Um, we are looking for an owner. So we're going to select owners and founders and directors and executives, just in case the owner has a C-suite title. Um, selecting both of them will cover for that case. So I'm going to hit next to conclude our targeting and we're going to go into the filters. I'm coming off at this as I want to sell something to a utility company. Uh, maybe like, let's say like, you know, I'm looking for water utility companies and I have sort of a water monitoring software. Uh, I feel like that would be a fun scenario. So uh, first I want to look at revenue. I want to see that these utility companies have at least 500K in revenue. Um, I want to, I want to go to their headcount. Um, no, I don't want to go to their headcount. Sorry. I, hmm. One more filter that I potentially am going to add is I want to see, um, I want to see if, uh, the company was founded, um, we only want companies founded after the year 2000 and I'll, let me explain why here. Um, the reason why I'm choosing this filter is because if you're established after, or if you're established before 2000, sorry, we want only companies established after 2000, but if you're established before 2000, in this industry, I just feel like it'll be really tough getting any kind of product or like service into those companies as they're just so grandfathered into the process. Um, and you kind of just want more like newer utility companies that, you know, are trying to disrupt like the grandfathered in companies. Um, and I just feel like they're more willing to work with uh, new technologies to give them the edge over um sort of like the industry long existing players. So I'm gonna hit next to lock that in. And for our metrics, we're gonna add everything. Um, but I'm just gonna point out a few key um, metrics. Revenue, We've I know we've already filtered it, but it's a, a great way to turn your list of 100 leads down to a, your list of 100 good leads down to a, a list of a, you know 20 great leads to reach out to. We also want headcount just to, uh, again, like see like how big the company we are, are dealing with, you know, maybe that affects our sales strategy towards them. Um, or, or, you know, maybe we see like, you know, this company is making this much, but they only have, you know, three people on their team. Like, you know, in this industry, you know, if you're selling a service, like that comes off as like a little bit of a risky of a sale. Um, and we want data established again. I know we've already filtered by it from above, but it's good to see the actual specific data point. Uh, all the rest of this stuff is more just marketing technologies. Yeah. More just marketing, uh, metrics still useful and can have some weight in, uh, determining what companies you really want to like put the effort into, but, uh, your main three, one are going to be, um, revenue headcount and data established. So uh, I'm going to hit next lock that in. I'm going to hit finish for the deliver. Um, and yeah, make sure to give your task a title, um, context required, set that to the amount you want. And then um, make sure to save a copy of your task. So I'm gonna, like I'm doing here, uh, you go back into it. And the reason why I suggest this is um, in case you need to cancel your task to change something, uh, you're not going back, you're, you're not starting over from scratch. So it's just like a good security blanket just to have an extra copy on hand. 
I'm going to launch this. And uh, as you can see, we're back in our task overview. Our task is allocating, which means that it'll be ready in approximately 24 hours of the time of launch. And yeah, with that being said, that's how you find the best utilities companies using Coldlytics. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next one.